Look how beat up they are, you guys. Would you have picked these up or left them behind? Always a bolo. Check the inner pocket for cash when you find them. They almost always have money in them. Hey, bolo buddies. Thanks for watching. All right. In this video, I'm going to share with you some big money bolos. And almost every single item in this video came from the Goodwill bins, which is where you pay by the pound. If you have not been to the Goodwill bins, you have got to check it out. You can check out my Goodwill bins videos, but I also want you to go over and check out our featured seller, a rural squirrel, her Goodwill bins videos. That is basically what her whole channel is about is thrifting at the bins. She brings you live footage from the Goodwill bins and she teaches at the same time. She is also so close to 10,000 subscribers. I just featured the Funky Pickle Thrifter. I'm not sure which video is going to come out, but both ladies are so close to 10,000 subscribers. So definitely go give them both a sub. Totally different content, but both incredible YouTube channels. All right. So a rural squirrel, almost to 10,000 subscribers. You guys go show her some love with a sub. Here is her eBay store. Again, lots and lots of great items, a wide variety. When you shop at the bins, you never know what you're going to find, but she will pick up anything. She is not exclusive to just clothing. She loves selling shoes and finds all kinds of amazing shoes at the Goodwill bins, but definitely sub her up. Check out those bins videos. And I think you're going to be pretty shocked at some of the amazing things that you can pull out of the bins. I will have her link down below, both her eBay store and her YouTube channel. If you click on the heart, that will save her as a seller. You will get notifications when she posts new items and also if she runs a sale. Let's get into these bolos. All right. So let's talk about this. She has been buying up quilts at the bins, which I think is absolutely incredible that she found these amazing quilts that you're about to see at the Goodwill bins, just incredible. I mean, look at this. Look at it. Look at the detail. It's, it's just beautiful. And she put it on a bed. Oh my goodness. I just think this is such a great way to showcase your item. I was saying, I just did a video um, recently on quilts and I was like, I'm too lazy to like wash it and put it on a bed and I, I'm usually too lazy to even buy the quilts. And when I do buy them, th we usually keep them because I love them so much. I grew up with quilts from my grandmother that she had made. So I just have this special like place in my heart where they just remind me of grandma and I want to keep them. And my husband is kind of fond of them also. So we have some nice quilts that were my grandmother's and also some that I have picked up at garage sales that I just decided to keep instead of sell. They're probably a bolo, but that's okay. We're going to hang on to them for now. She says, the quilts have become some of my favorite things. Each of these last three quilts came from the Denver bins where they have linen pricing at 69 cents a pound. So I paid less than five for all of them. Three quilts and sold the vintage. Um, let's see. Let's do... I've got them in the wrong order. So this one is a 1950s pink grandma's flower garden quilt for a best offer of 300 and it was a repeat buyer. Here is this one that is just kind of a patchwork, interesting patchwork looking quilt. Um, it doesn't look as big. It's from the 1920s to 1940s, she says. And it kind of has that horse. Uh, did you see the horse? So that's going to catch the eye of maybe somebody special that is interested in horse items. And even the patchwork kind of has that country horse uh, cowgirl theme to it. So she sold this one for $149.99. And it was also a repeat buyer. Look at the butterflies. Oh, my goodness. The Goodwill bins, you guys. Th how did this make it to the Goodwill bins? That's all I want to know. Just how, 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 how. Look at that. It's beautiful. It is absolutely awesome. All right. So I'm going to just keep looking at all the pictures. It's so cool. 
This one sold for a best offer of 170, which was also a repeat customer. So she must have a lot of people that uh, come back and buy from her over and over again, especially her quilts. Okay, Oboe's Bridger Trail Hiking Boots, waterproof Shepra lined hike snow camp size seven and a half. Now, this is a little different for her. These are boots, but she did retail arbitrage on these. She paid $24.99 and took a best offer of $100 on these. She said they came from a mom and pop sporting goods store in Arizona. This is a vintage fallen hoodie sweater, full zip up, olive ivory striped jacket, medium. And she used the word Y2K, which is a fantastic word that people are searching for on eBay. So use it if you know it's from that time frame. I found this at the Denver Benz and did a TikTok about it. Paid $1.69 for it. I It felt like nice quality, so I did the comps and it blew me away. I listed mine at the same price range and this was a full price sale of $139.99. So if you guys are on TikTok, check out a rural squirrel over there as well. Here is another quilt, vintage 40s quilt block patch pattern hand quilted. And look at that. This one is a coverlet bedspread. So I think it's um, like a topper maybe. I'm not sure, but it looks thinner. This one came from the St. Louis Benz, $1.29 a pound there. This made, or I'm sorry, that made this quilt less than $4. Accepted a best offer of 70 to a repeat buyer. Don Joy uh, Defiance Force Point Left Knee Brace, size small. This, she said, I always pick up these frame knee braces when I see them. I had to wear one in volleyball and know how expensive they can be. I accepted a really low best offer on this for 32 but it only cost me $1.69 a pound at the bins. Yeah, and sometimes you just think maybe somebody really needs it. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, Onsen? 100% Supimia, Supim, <laughs> Supima, Supimua, I don't know what that, S-U-P-I-M-A, some sort of cotton, I guess. Is that the brand or is that a type of cotton? Let's see. It's a type of cotton. Does anybody want to tell me how to pronounce that down in the comments? Like put the little dashes and tell me how to say it because I have no idea what that even means. Uh, but it's beautiful. It's uh, kind of got that waffle look to it. Look at those towels. Turkish towel set. And she paid... 69 cents a pound at the Denver Benz because they are considered linens. These waffle woven towels sold for a best offer of $98 plus shipping for used towels. That is incredible and definitely one you want to be on the lookout for. There is the little tag. This purse is a mid-century modern Corette brand purse. Came from the Jackson Bill Benz. I think it's so funny that she knows where all of her items come from. Like she keeps track of which Goodwill Benz it comes from. I absolutely love it. And cost her $1.29 a pound. I, she accepted a best offer of 85 on this. I think probably that helps her keep track of what she paid for her items because each Goodwill Benz has different pricing. I'm not sure if you're familiar with the Goodwill Benz and how that works, but my Goodwill Benz the last time I was there, I haven't been there for a while, was $1.99 a pound uh, for anything, clothing or hard goods. And then books, I think, were at $0.69 cents a pound. So we don't have a linen rate at our Goodwill bins. So each Goodwill bins location is different. This is a Valerie Stevens Evening 100% Silk Sequins Jacket Cardigan Black, Gold, and Silver. And... She sold this for $49.99 and it came from the Goodwill bins. This is a Tilly Endurables hat. It's like a fishing, hiking cap. 
She said, always a bolo. Check the inner pocket for cash when you find them. They almost always have money in them. <laughs> I love that tip. Was a, in great condition and sold for a best offer of 50. Where's this pocket at? Where's the pocket? Is it on the inside? Am I missing it? It's a hidden pocket maybe? Do you guys see a pocket? I don't see a pocket. So look for a pocket if you see this brand. It's got to be here. Inner pocket. I can't find it. Do you guys see it? I want to know. I want to know. Okay. It's like a hidden pocket, I think. Or maybe it's on the outside. Is it on the outside? Where is the pocket? Where's the pocket? Okay. I've spent way too much time on trying to find the pocket, but that is a good looking hat for sure. And I would definitely keep the uh, pocket tip in mind. This is a vintage Red Goose shoes advertising promotional cast iron. And it says, still bank. So it's like a piggy bank, I guess, right? Still bank. Is that what that means? Let's see. Yeah. Yeah. I want to see the bottom. No. Yeah. <laughs> so I think you put the money in and then you like open it, like just crank it apart. Do you think? I don't know. Just recently sold best offer $42. Now that was probably, I don't know if her bins is always by weight or for heavy items, they give them a discount. But that one could have cost her a little more. Vintage peach negligee bodysuit panties outfit from the 70s or 80s. It is fancy. She got it at the bins, took a best offer of six, uh, I'm sorry, 26 for that. Look at this. 1950s handy can steel flat top black cherry soda pop can. What? Look at the graphics. It's pretty bad condition, guys. And yeah, black cherry soda. Have you ever seen such a thing? 1950s steel pop can best offer $50 and she got it at the bin. So that probably weighed next to nothing. She probably had less than a dollar in that. Would you have picked it up or left it behind? Let me know in the comments. And this are ultra men's sneakers, running shoes, Goodwill bins. Took a best offer of 20 on those. And those are, you guys, she got those out of the Goodwill bins. Look how good they look. Those are in great condition. Oh, I lied. They do have a little bit of an issue right there. But overall, they look really nice. Maybe it's the vibrant blue. Uh, Declab or Decala, Decalab, Decalab. I'm not sure how to say that, but that's the brand. D-E-K-A-L-B. Why do they have to have such hard names. Uh, it is an orange corn detasseling hat from snapback cap sun flap mesh screen. So it's got a screen over it. Check it out. It's even a little dirty. What do you guys think? Interesting, huh? I think came from Jacksonville, Illinois bins and sold for a best offer of $40. This is a Chanel quilted black eyeglass sunglasses case. And she said, came from a yard sale in Minnesota while visiting reseller friends up there. I'd flip that 365 vintage Hunter and Mick flip and ship. It was in a free box with a few other cases sold for a best offer of 50. So those were um, the other YouTubers that she was visiting. Definitely check out their channels as well. And she sold this for a best offer of 50. Little Pet Shop, tiny, or I'm sorry, teeniest, tiniest. These are itty bitties, kind of like a uh, Polly Pocket, you know, the real little ones. But this is Pet Shop. She said, I, uh, let's see, a Goodwill bin's fine. Honestly, can't remember which location. I remember shoving them in my cart, but I don't know, remember where I was. Sold for a best offer of 45. I don't know how you could remember where you were ever. Oh my goodness. If you're doing all that from memory, you are amazing. Paper mache faux taxidermy antler deer head wall mount decor fake flowered roses. How this made it at the, the bins, I have no idea. She found it at the Denver bins. She said the deer head retailed for over 200. 
She said, I told, I sold it to a repeat buyer for $48.99. How on earth did a paper mache item make it through the Goodwill bins? That is crazy. Did she hang it on her wall? Or did she just make it look like that? It looks like she was, hold on a second. Let me go back here. It looks like it's hanging on her wall. How did she, did she actually hang it on her wall or is that like some fancy, uh, some fancy editing skills? That might be some fancy editing skills. I think it is. Oh my goodness. That's awesome. All right, here we go. Oboe's Juniper Trail hiking boots. These were also from that same uh, retail arbitrage mom and pop shop. $24.99 each sold this pair for $65 plus shipping. Ralph Lauren Denim and Supply Varsity Letterman Jacket, navy and white. It is wool. She got this at the Goodwill Bins uh, in Bridgetown after the Let's Do Lunch podcast meetup and sold it for a best offer of $80. Yes. So a rural squirrel and Angie resells, they have a channel together called Let's Do Lunch Podcast. So definitely check that out if you have not ever seen it. This is a Smart Wool Murano. Is that my, no, Merino, Merino. And I don't know how to say it. So anyway, it's okay. It's all right. It's an ultralight vest, full zip, run, hike, sunset coral. Uh, the MSRP on this was $100. And she sold this for a best offer of $45 and she got it at the bins. Edwardian, Edwardian era women's shoes, French heels, dress white, size six narrow. And uh, they are no longer white, guys. These are old, old, old. I don't know. Would they be considered probably antique, right? Look how beat up they are, you guys. Would you have picked these up or left them behind? Let me know down in the comments. I mean, they are, they're really old and they're collectible, but she got them at the St. Louis downtown bins for a best offer. Uh, I'm sorry, sold them for a best offer of 50. $50 for these. Look at them. Look at the damage. $50. Do things sell that are damaged? Yes, all the time, all the time. It's just like when I talk about uh, people scrapping jewelry, you know, so many things go to scrap or to the dump that people collect and love. Kipling's large laptop backpack, blue flowered bag with pockets and monkey fob. And this one sold for a full asking price of $59.99. And the buyer paid shipping. Vintage 80s, 90s bike shorts. Bright colorway pattern. Iconic 80s, 90s. These came from the Denver bins. And she took an offer of $55 plus shipping on those. All right, you guys. That was a rural squirrel. And again, so close to 10,000 subscribers. Go show her some love. 189 videos. That's it. And she has that many subscribers. So that tells you she is doing something right. Go show her some love, you guys, with a sub. And check out her eBay store as well. Those items are linked down below. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And Thanks for watching.